Hi, I'm Dr. Nixon with Healing Peak Regenerative Medicine, and today I just kind of want to go over what platelet-rich plasma injections are and what they do. It's been a while since I have covered this topic, and so I just wanted to go over it again, and just a couple things you can do to help your body make better PRP and also improve the outcome after you get PRP injections, So, which I go over with all my patients. And I don't think, um, actually, I know that not many other physicians out there doing PRP actually go through these, um, both post, both pre and post uh, platelet-rich plasma instructions. And so they can be game changers on whether or not platelet-rich plasma injections are successful for you. So platelet-rich plasma is a type of blood that you have. So we draw the blood just like a regular blood draw, and we use a different centrifuge, so a special centrifuge, which spins the blood down and separates the red blood cells from platelet-poor plasma and platelet-rich plasma, which is a thin layer between platelet-poor plasma, or serum, and red blood cells. And we take out that two to three millimeter amount of PRP, and we put it in a syringe, and then we inject that into the place that's unstable or arthritic, or in pain, um, or injured. There are many different reasons to do PRP. And what we're doing is uh, we are stimulating the growth factors and stem cells within that joint to create more of those. And an acute healing phase that allows your body to heal up that injured area or arthritic area and grow more layers of cartilage in the region or ligamentous structures if we're trying to tighten up um, uh, ligaments or tendons. So what happens is, is, you know, when you cut yourself and your body, you know, if you cut your arm or something like that and you bleed and the blood clots, your body forms a scab, the scab falls off, there's kind of like raw skin there that looks a little bit different from your other skin, and then within another week, it looks the same as if nothing has ever happened, right? So that's the two-week acute healing phase that your body goes through when it experiences an injury. And when we inject the PRP into the region that is injured or chronically in pain, we are initiating that acute healing phase, which gives that area another opportunity for healing. And you can do multiple injections. Sometimes one is enough. It really depends on how chronic the issue is and how injured that area or region is. And the wonderful thing about platelet-rich plasma and why it's such a naturopathic treatment is because you are making your medicine. You are making the ingredients that you need to heal your body. We're just kind of repurposing it. We're taking it out and injecting it into a specific place. And um, if your body is inflamed or you're diabetic or you're obese or you eat a lot of sugar or um, you're not, you know, well hydrated or you don't have enough nutrients in your body like minerals and things like that, then you're just not going to make very good PRP and your, or it will be really inflammatory PRP. And so when I first assess patients, I make sure that their bodies are going to make the best PRP that they possibly can make by putting them through a screening process and testing specific lab markers to make sure that their body is also going to utilize the PRP effectively that we're injecting into the area. A couple of things that really help PRP become more effective is when that person has a lot of muscle mass. The more muscle mass that that person has, the more stable the joint will be able to become, the faster it will become more stable and, and no longer injured or no longer in pain or no longer arthritic. And so um, building muscle mass both prior to PRP and after the two-week period of PRP where you're, you can't work out, um, that joint in specific, and then vitamin C, zinc, and collagen or bone broth um, are all really important cofactors in building more collagen and building, you know, those um, collagen matrices, ligamentous structures, cartilage, basically. Um, collagen is in all epithelial cells, which is like skin cells, so hair, skin, nails. Um, it's also in the digestive tract, so they're not um, recommendations. I'm not your doctor. They're uh, just general suggestions. If you do decide to take any of those things and you haven't been taking them already, please consult your physician first because it's possible they could interact with some medications that you're on and um, your doctor should be notified 
require you to start prior to you starting any new supplements, um, over-the-counter supplements. So please, if you do decide to, to do that, please ask your doctor. Um, and so after the PRP injection, it's really important to do those things as well as start to build more muscle mass. This will um, make that platelet-rich plasma injection substantially more effective um, because it will also improve the immuno immunology or um, your joint's immune system. Every joint has an immune system in it. Or, I mean, we all talk about like the whole, the whole immune system that helps you fight colds and things like that, but the joint actually has its own little immune system and that allows it to function effectively and in a healthy way. And having more muscle mass and moving that joint um, will help take away waste and bring in nutrients. And I've discussed this actually with discs um, in, the, in the lumbar spine. That's what they're for. And that's in one of my other videos. But joints have a, a nutrient in, in, input and a waste output uh, function. And if they don't have proper muscle mass around them or if they're not well hydrated or if you're not moving them, that process does not work effectively and therefore the PRP will not be as effective. So I just wanted to go over these kind of pre and post PRP sections because I really think that in the greater, in the bigger picture, they're often missed. And so if you're not doing platelet rich plasma, plasma injections with me personally, I really encourage you to um, talk to your orthopedist or the doctor that you're doing platelet rich plasma injections with and bring these items to their attention and uh, see if you can get some of these things tested and or if they're okay with you taking some of the recommendation or suggestions that I've made on this video. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. See you guys next time.